<laughs> Happy Friday. Hey guys. Hope everyone's having a good Friday. Seems like the week went by like really, really quiet. Um, oh guys, these are really good. They taste like candy. Like it says, um, do not exceed more than five pieces a day. But I'm like, I want to eat the whole thing. Oh, what is she into? Okay. So it's got um, guarana extract, caffeine, vitamins B6, B9, and B12. Salted caramel chocolate flavored bites. Convert food into fuel. These are so good. And um, the super greens, really, really good. I have the, the um, super fruit ones on the way. But it's got a thousand percent of vitamin B12 in it. Yummy! And they're having a sale right now. And if you click on my link, my discount will be automatically applied to your cart. So that's pretty cool. Hick them ups. Hick them ups. I switched my stuff back because it was like really awkward for me doing it the way I had it yesterday. I don't know what my, um, cat is doing under my bed which is being a little obnoxious so today we're gonna play with a whole bunch of different makeup um i went downstairs and brought up some more stuff okay so this is the setting spray that we're gonna use today i'm gonna use it as a primer so it's from makeup revolution and it says calming makeup fixing spray with cannabis sativa seed oil and it's got marijuana in it um dang that writing is small okay fix your look with this extra cold setting spray this lightweight spray fixes your makeup for long lasting wear dries down to a matte finish within 60 seconds I wanted to use this as a primer, but I wonder, can I not? Hmm. Okay, we'll s just use it as, um, we'll do, use that as the setting spray. And then for a primer, I have the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Mineral Primer. Um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Primer. The NYX Pore Filler, NYX Shine Killer, and then the Beauty Blender Opalescence Serum Primer. I think we'll do the, I think we'll do the Wet n Wild one. Yeah. Let's try this Wet n Wild one. It's a dewy base primer. Let's see. Oh, it's got tint to it. Little tint. Doesn't really have a smell. It definitely feels like it has a bit of um tackiness to it. Which is usually primers do. Oh, okay, that's a little bit too much, I think. Eyes. I can see a sheen to it in the mirror. Which now, well, I gotta wipe some of this off my hands. Because I wanted to use the, um, the L'Oreal. Yeah, that's a definitely got um sheen to it I wanted to use the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion because this is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Dupe but it kind of looks like like this it's like a skin tint so I don't know if I should use it with this I think I shouldn't so I'm gonna use this tomorrow and then today we'll use, okay, so yesterday we used the Maybelline, what is 
use this but we use the Maybelline Dream Radiant Foundation today we're going to use the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation and this one oh come on okay this one here is full coverage protective makeup with sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 50 antioxidant enriched so that's a pretty high amount of SPF um, in a um, foundation. Kitty, seriously? She's like down here ripping up my rug. Okay, let me take. I did not like this mascara. I don't remember. Today I'm going to try. This little one from Ciate London Wonder Wand Mascara. Put that in there. Okay, so for concealer, I don't like any of the ones I have tried the past couple days. So my friend recommended to get the It Cosmetics, I think it's called Bye Bye Under Eye one. So I'm gonna grab that one from Ulta and then I wanna try the, um, the, L'Oreal Infallible one, I believe. I heard that one's really good too. My daughter likes that one a lot. So I'm just gonna use the one from Unique today. I really love this concealer. It's super full coverage. And you only need a little bit. Like, look at that. I only put on a tiny bit. I went tanning this morning because I don't like being pasty. But I always, I'm so funny. So I always wear a hat in the tanning bed to cover up my forehead and then I wear sunglasses too, like really big sunglasses to cover up my eyes. And then I put sun, oh well, not lately. I'm not putting sunscreen on my face because it breaks me out so bad. And my dermatologist told me that it's really bad for you. She said that the chemical sunscreens are worse than the sun is for you. So I kind of believe her because every time I use sunscreen on my face, for like the next two days after I wash it off, my face burns. Every time I put lotion on it or anything, it just like burns really bad and I don't know why. I'm like, that's weird. So I always just take it on my eyelid so that way I don't have to use a separate um, eye primer. I got some really fun shadows to show you guys. They're actually my daughter's. I totally forgot she had these. It's so cool. She says she found it on Amazon. So I'm gonna go on there and try to find it because you guys are gonna love this. It's like a book, a book of eyeshadows. And they're really pretty colors. So thank all of you guys who have been sharing my videos like and entered, um, in the giveaway you guys are awesome i love my friends on this page so much so i pretty much it's just like only females on this page i don't have any guys on here my other page is super old so it's got like a lot of my high school friends on there and you know most guys don't really want to see makeup videos so I'm like, I'm just going to have girls on this page. I have women on this page, and I've met so many awesome women, like, through Unique, just through making, you know, doing makeup videos and having fun. I love everyone on this page. You guys are the real MVPs. I linked my um <clears throat> my powder collagen link too 
if you don't know, which I think most people know by now, by when you turn the age 20, your body starts depleting of collagen. And when you're the age of 40, you stop producing collagen altogether. And now doctors are realizing like what big role it plays in a ton of different health issues from arthritis to your muscles to like, it's just so much stuff. Um, Unique has a liquid collagen. It's a marine collagen, so it's fish based. So if you're allergic to fish, you can't take it. Um, I take a powder one. It has 20 grams of collagen in it, which equals 20,000 milligrams. So I like it. It's an appetite suppressant. It helps you lose weight. Um, it gives you energy. When I'm like on my period, my cramps are so, like, I cramp so much less compared to when I wasn't taking collagen. And my periods don't last as long either. It's like, I love it. It helps your muscles if you work out. It's great for your skin, your nails, your hair. Like, my hair, since I started taking collagen, grows, like, at least an inch a month. And before that, like, my hair was really, really slow. So, yeah. If you're not on collagen, I highly, highly recommend trying it because you have nothing to lose. It's only going to help you in the long run. It, it helps with cellulite too. So like if you <clears throat> want to lose weight, it's great for that because it makes you like feel full. So you eat less. Um, yeah, it's really good. So before I put the foundation on, I want to show you guys a couple things. So, are these the cutest eyeshadow palettes? They're like, they're so girly, I love them. So this is from Bedoya, Bedoya Beauty, I think that's how you say it. But this looks just like the white mocha palette from Unique. Look at those colors, just like it. And this one, this is a really pretty fall um color palette and then this one super pretty and then where is it okay this is my daughter's and this is so cool it's like a book right that end is magnetic and look at this look at all let me try to do this so you got like your greens these are really pretty sunset you could do a really pretty sunset eye you got your blues and then look at that oh i love purple i love purple eyeshadow so pretty she said she found this on amazon it's from it says meet your match eyeshadow tray color board by Beauty Glazed. Beauty Glazed. So I'm gonna look this up on Amazon when I get off and see if I can't find a link for it because I think she said it was like, it wasn't expensive. I think she said it was like 15 bucks, maybe even cheaper. And then she gave me this eyeliner. It's a liquid eyeliner. Oh, I'm not good with liquid eyeliner. But honestly, like I don't really wear eyeliner that much from Young Vision so it's like nice fine felt tip I'll put this in my eyeliner tray okay and then these are from the cream shop blushes this one looks like Okay, it broke a little bit. So these are highlights. I believe this is from TJ Maxx. Get back. I believe it's from TJ Maxx. But super pretty. I'll probably use one of the blushes out of here today. Or I was gonna use this one from Physicians Formula. It's like um it's got it's kind of like a highlighter blush. Rose All Day Petal Glow. Huh. 
I like Physician Torma. They got a lot of good stuff. I'll keep this out. And then I was thinking about doing this eyeshadow palette. But now I kind of want to use one of the other ones. I don't know. There's just so much to choose from. This is the contour palette. So we're going to use this today to contour with and see how it goes on. Because I think I've only swatched it. I've never actually used it. Okay. So let's get our foundation on. Quit talking so much. So I'm just going to put it right on my Kabuki brush. And it says full coverage. So I'm just going to start off with a little bit. smells like sunscreen definitely smells like sunscreen just gonna stick all this on I wonder if it's gonna have that sunscreeny feel um, kind of like slimy you know what I mean how it doesn't really soak in your skin This is the shade Sun Beige. Sun Beige. It says full coverage, but let me see if it says. I want to see what finish it is supposed to have. It definitely looks kind of like how sunscreen looks on your skin, I think. Let me see some. Okay. I feel this. Um, that's ingredients. It just talks about staying out of the sun so it doesn't say if it's supposed to be like a matte or dewy but um it definitely looks dewy it definitely looks dewy and it feels a little tacky honestly it feels like sunscreen which i don't love because i don't like that feeling okay let's do a tiny bit more I really liked the one I used yesterday, and then I really liked the um, L'Oreal one, and then the Milani, the Conceal, and let's see, it was like foundation, it was a, the two-in-one. So I like the foundations I've used the past couple days. The one I used yesterday, I could find a better match for. I think I got that one in the summertime when I was like tanner, but... very dewy so we're definitely gonna have to set this and okay I also linked um this Dior inspired necklace and then here's the bracelet to it. This is, it's made out of titanium stainless steel. And then I can link this necklace too. If you guys want this, the green one, you can say in the comments like um, green necklace and I'll get the link for it. And then these earrings come in a pack of four. So it's this pair, this pair, and then it's got the big baguette stone one and then another smaller pair like this. A little bit different though but super cute love them y'all know i love my jewelry for 
actually spells out I think yeah my face feels tacky and it, it feels like um it definitely feels like sunscreen and it kind of looks like oily yeah okay so I was gonna use this one to set with but I'm gonna use my unique one only because only because I know um, it sets really really good and it's one of my favorite setting powders hi Katie so for under my eyes I love using this hi And then always make sure you don't have any lines. It's not sitting in your crease. Otherwise it'll stay. I always like look up when I'm doing my setting line under eye. And I'm just pushing this in the skin. We go to the um comedy show tomorrow so I'm excited for that it's gonna be fun never been to one before but I know we'll have fun we always do Joanna's like my best friend my hubby and we always have a lot of fun together it's really nice being with somebody that supports what you do, supports you mentally, emotionally, all areas of life, and puts up with you. No, I'm not really that hard. Sometimes, you know, I'm moody if I'm, it's that time of month and I'm, you know, hormonal, but. We usually never fight. We like we never fight. We might have a disagreement or something, but like we don't fight. It's definitely it's definitely the best thing being with your best friend and soulmate. I hope everybody finds their soulmate. Life is so much better <clears throat> when you have someone in your corner who supports everything you do, wants to make you happy, spoils you, and vice versa. I spoil him too, though. We spoil each other. Okay. Oh, and <clears throat> if you are looking for a really good sunscreen, the brand Dermatology has one. They have a physical one and a universal one. So the universal one is like reef safe. So you can wear it in the ocean. It's, you know, it won't harm the animals or um, ocean life. And then they do have some different serums. Like they have retinol. They have the needleless serum. Um... I left a link for them too and I left the goalie link and then the um the U collagen link and then they also have something called trim fit which helps with weight loss so if you're looking to lose weight but you can't I would definitely check out the trim fit it's like grape flavored I have not had it. My friend takes it though, and she says she's lost a lot of inches from it, and it tastes good. She said it tastes like um, great Powerade, and I definitely um, trust her opinion on it. Okay, so now for contour, we're gonna use this palette. Um, where's my brush? Now I'm going to use this brush. It's a powder puff brush from Unique. I love this one for contour because it's like so big. Um, let's see what shade. 
I'm gonna first try I'm gonna first try the shade caramel and if it's too light I can go on with a darker one it looks pretty good though okay. I need to google who owns this brand I'm really curious because I thought it was like one of the housewives from the, that TV show but then I'm like I don't know okay so caramel is a good color for contour for my skin tone and they do have like darker ones too they have a lot darker ones they got a banana powder a translucent powder so this is really um this would be a good palette, like a year round palette. So you got your lighter ones for like in the winter when you lose your tan and then you got, it goes to really deep too. And you can use these as eyeshadows. That's the thing I love about palettes is like they're so versatile. You can use them for so many different things. What's the matter with my kitty? Huh? What? You wanna say hi? Come here. Oh, look at mama baby. Look, kitty, look. 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 Look, she's got a bit of Lego on her face like I got on my hand. Oh, see mama baby. She's so pretty. <laughs> I love her. Okay, so I just used the shade Caramel. And then... Her hair. Nose. And the U Powder Collagen. Um, it tastes like orange creamsicle. I really like the Vital Proteins one. It has 20 grams of collagen, so that's 20,000 milligrams. That's a lot. And you can find that one for like 15 bucks at TJ Maxx, um, Home Goods, I think Marshalls too. So if you like want to try one, but you don't want to spend that much on them, I would definitely get it from one of those places. Okay, that's a really pretty color. I like that color. So that was the shade Caramel. You can see they got it like really deep. You can use these as eyeshadows. This kind of looks like the shade Sisterly from Unique. It's got like a little shimmer to it. Let's see what it looks like on the face though. <sighs> okay. Oh, it's really pigmented. It does have like a little little sheen to it. Okay. It's really pretty. <sighs> I can't wait till next October. October 23rd is our anniversary and so last year, or was it 2020? No, so last year we booked our um, we booked our wedding down in Panama City Beach down in Florida because we're getting married on the beach. 
and we were supposed to get married last year on October 23rd, but my landlord ended up selling the house and so we had to move like right around that time. I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's put it off till 2023 so that way we can get married on 10 23 2023. Just cute. So we're having our wedding on the beach. We got the wedding planner. Like she's already paid for since last year. And it's gonna be so cute. It's gonna be my kids are gonna be down there. I told them like I do not want I don't want a whole bunch of people there because I feel like I don't want nobody's negative energy. I only want people there who I know are like happy for sure. You know what I mean? Like I don't want anyone else there besides my kids. I ain't doing no negative energy bringing into my wedding day. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. I already got my dress. I got my dress last year, so I got my wedding dress. Then I have my after wedding dress. It is so cute. It's like, it's white and it's got long sleeves and it's lacy. It's so cute, you guys. I can't wait until you guys see the pictures. I can't really say much more about it, but some people will try to copy what you do. And I'm like, no. So, I just put more setting powder on that because I kind of went ham with the blush. Um, what I'm going to ham with the blush. Like there's so much pretty stuff it's hard it's but i kind of just did like a peachy look yesterday mm. okay so i think we'll just do like we're just gonna do a neutral eye and use, okay, so we're gonna use like this color, this color, this darker one, and then maybe that dark brown. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my blending brush. This is just my unique blending brush. Is this shimmer? Okay, and I'm going to take this whitish color right here. It's called Wishful. And I'm going to go on my whole eye with this. This will just be like a transition shade. So my cat always comes out in the garage with me in the morning when I drink my coffee. And I went back in the house, but I thought I let her back in before I went in. I didn't. And I was in there for like an hour. And then I went back out. And she <laughs> came from under my car. I was like, <laughs> knock my poor baby out. Poor kitty. <clears throat> what? So that's kind of like, um, like a bone color. Next, I'm going to use this darker tannish color it's called trust me and I'm just gonna go right here with it and the crease and a little bit above it what what you want attention you want attention it's a really pretty color it looks like the color astute for me. I think I got this palette in the a boxy charm box. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I did. 
they have some really good deals i think it's like 28 bucks a month and you get five or six full-size products and it's a box worth like 230 bucks or 28 bucks they usually give you like an eyeshadow palette some skincare and makeup i am um, yeah everything i've gotten from there like i really i really liked it a lot so if you want if you want to try some different stuff out that's a good um a good idea mm, let's see what this really dark brown but this is fine. Okay. Uh, this color has like a satin finish to it. It's really pretty. I don't really normally do neutral eyes just because I love shimmers and bright colors. But... day for a neutral eye. Yeah, you see how it's like satiny? It's really pretty. <clears throat> I don't know why every time I do my makeup, like my nose starts to run. And like my eyes itch. Like, am I allergic to makeup? Am I allergic to makeup? So I was thinking instead of waiting all the way till September 25th to do the giveaway, I was like, maybe we should just do, once I hit 100 shares, we should do it. Every 100 shares, I'll pick five winners. I think that'll be, instead of waiting, you know. <clears throat> Let me guys know what you think in the comments. Should we do it every 100 shares or wait till September? I think it'll be better if we every hundred shares one okay now what shimmer color oh they got a really pretty gold that gold is super pretty um i'm gonna do this this dark brown shimmer and i'm gonna use setting spray to wet my brush after I got the eyeshadow on it and that just like prevents fallout and it makes it like really pigmented So I'm only going to bring it to right there because I'm going to go in with a lighter shade. I still, um smell the foundation it smells like sunscreen and I think it's because it has such a high SPF in it it's 50 and the one I used yesterday and the day before wasn't as high okay so that's probably why Now for the lighter color, we're going to use the shade, it's called I Swear. And the cat's like, what are you doing? 
are you spraying in though? And then I just like blend them together a tad. Like that. And then I'm gonna go back in with that white color I used in the very beginning and just go under my brow with it. You see, I haven't like plucked my eyebrows in a minute. They're growing in so good with that lash serum. But I'm gonna have to like pluck these strays by um, tomorrow. Actually, I'm going to use this one from Monique. It's the Sculpting Style Brow Pencil. This is the one that has pomade in it and, well not pomade, keratin and biotin and argan oil, but it has a pomade feel to it. And you go super lightly. It's very, very pigmented. What? What? What's the matter? What's the matter, kitty? This is always the eyebrow that gives me attitude. Always this one. What's the matter, kitty? Attention, huh? You need attention. Oh, I'm gonna have to wait a minute. What? What? Hmm. I love my kitty. She makes me happy. I love animals. I'm very much um very much a cat person though. I love cats. Uh -oh. What? 
you want on my lap, don't you? Okay. And then I kind of like to take the end of this brush, the spoolie brush, and sort of just like work this product in my brow so it looks more natural. Like this. You know what's so funny is that I was talking to my friend and I told her like I'm always finding myself comparing stuff like makeup and stuff now to unique I'm always comparing stuff now like oh and it's crazy like what it does to you I definitely noticed that though I love unique stuff but it's kind of weird like how it's so instilled into my brain that I compare everything to it. Or maybe it's just because I was doing it, you know, for a while. So that's what I'm used to. I don't know. But see, always the left brow that gives me attitude. Always. Like this dead brow. I guess it don't help that I need to um, pluck them like stray hairs and stuff. Is this one? <laughs> um, I figure it's too high right here. What? I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Okay, so before I put um, mascara on, I'm going to set my face. With this. It smells like hairspray. It's a calming makeup fixing spray with cannabis sativa oil. I really like that milk mascara. That one is good. Kitty. Turd, you got the rug all tore up. So I am going to put my lash primer on to protect. Whoa. To protect um my lashes and... help um, strengthen them and this helps them grow as well it's got really good ingredients so always put your mascara on before that dries this is the Siete London one it's kind of tricky for me when the brush or the handle is like this little 
It's a little tricky and I always end up getting it on my eyelid. I usually do no matter what though, so I'm just um very messy. Don't be clomp putting your little claws in my chair now. So my cat wakes me up every morning between one and two o'clock in the morning. And what she does, she comes up to my mirror right here that I have in front of me. It's a really big mirror, floor mirror. And she scratches it super, super fast and she's really obnoxious with it every morning and it's like our routine and then she's so stinking bougie that she only wants to drink out of the real faucet in the bathroom like i'll turn the faucet on she'll sit there run water on her paw and lick it off oh my like, girl i she has a whole electric cat fountain dish thing but no she wants fresh water from the sink yeah that's our routine she wakes me up every morning take her in the kitchen give her some of her treats then in the bathroom to give her fresh water I swear she's like a child except she doesn't cry and poop on you or pee on you so like that's a plus but still very very needy animal and then next weekend we're going to the mall of america i can't wait they have a chanel store in there anthropology they have so many stores in there and they have like over 50 restaurants and it's going down. Takara and Troy are coming. It's so funny that like the clothes that are trending right now and back in style are the stuff that I used to wear in high school kind of like the skater pants, the baggy skater pants, and then like baggy shirts, like graphic shirts, and then one boots, them Chelsea boots, like platform boots, so funny. Gucci came out with a pair of chunky Chelsea boots, and I'm like, oh my god. definitely um brings you back to the good old days you didn't have a care in the world no bills to pay what <laughs> she jumped up on here now she's all up in my face what kitty kitty what She's like, Mama, who are you talking to? Who am I talking to? <gasps> okay. I wonder, oh, I guess it's too late now. I was gonna do a pop of color liner under my lashes, but. This is a pretty mascara. I need some more coffee. What time is it? One, one eleven, one one one. My lucky number is three thirty three. 
Like, I see it every day, a couple times a day. I wake up at 3.33 in the morning all the time. Look at the clock, 3.33. Look at my gas mileage, what I got to the tank, 3.33. I just sent my friend a message the other day and it said 3.33 and I was like, oh wow, it's crazy. It's always 3.33. And so my friend made me um, a necklace that says 3.33. She also made me one that says, still I rise. Um, it's a rose gold necklace. It says, Still I Rise in Cursive, and she sent that to me. Because she knows, like, um, a lot of my past. We've talked about our past and stuff, and, yeah, it's really sweet. So, do you guys wear um, falsies or no? I don't because one, the glue is so bad for your real lashes and it it's toxic and it destroys your real lashes. I have good lashes so I don't need fake ones and I think if I ever were to wear them, I would do the magnetic ones. I would not do glue at all. Um, I have some magnetic ones actually, I just, I like my real lashes are really good, they're long and full, and a lot of it has to do with like the collagen and that lash growth serum, the collagen too, the collagen is going to make your hair thicker on your head, it's going to help with cellulite, like if you don't know the benefits of collagen, you should google it. Always start your um, health, your you know, like skincare from the inside out. So, if you care about your body, you care about how you, your skin is, if it's, I think you definitely should research collagen. You have nothing to lose. All you have to gain is learning something new. And then deciding if it's for you or not. Delano is even taking it. It helps your muscles so much. Like if you do strenuous stuff like he does. And in like really awkward positions and stuff. It definitely um, helps your muscles. Get off of my jewelry case now. Get it down. She's so bad. Oh, so this is cool. So this actually comes with a little lip liner. Is there any more? Oh, it is. Let me see if everyone's in it. This is from Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner. It glides on real easy. Real easy. I'm barely putting pressure on it. Girl, 
Peace. Knock that coffee over. It's definitely like a Barbie pink. And it's super creamy. I like it. I'm gonna have to get some more shades of this one. This is really nice and creamy. I wonder how long it, uh, it wears though. all day. Mm. I always overline the top a little bit because I got tiny lips. Which, did you guys know that they did a, a poll, like a study, and men actually prefer women to have smaller lips. They don't like big lips. Uh, really? But real lips are so pretty. But yeah, men prefer smaller lips. And it was like by a lot. It was like... It was either 88 or like 92% preferred smaller lips. I was like, whoa. And that's good to know. Um, what's this? Lip crayon. is the Ludicrous Matte Lip Crayon by Milani. Okay, that's pretty. But now, I'm not going to make it matte. I'm going to go over it with my Hottie Lip Plumper. Usually not a headband person like I only wear headbands when I put makeup on but these ones that I found at TJ Maxx are really really cute they're super cute look you can see my white vitiligo don't mind my hairy armpits I got vitiligo spots under my arms I like it now Definitely accept it. There's a lot of groups, um, like little Lego groups out there. And like, there's a lot of models that have it now. It's so crazy. Do you guys like this look? I use the Maybelline Urban Foundation, the one with SPF 50 in it. I did the Neutral Eye with that Violet Voss palette. I like it. I like it. it looks really pretty if you guys want the links to any makeup or anything you want me to find you the links oh, this cat I can definitely search for them for you I don't know if I'll be able to find like everything but um I can definitely look so you can message me if you want the links or you can either comment it it doesn't matter 
and I hope you guys have a great Friday. Have fun and stay safe and be kind to yourself and others. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.